Hello guys, this is uh, Ryan here, and uh, we got a tutorial on how to do uh, make your own Minecraft server for Classic. Um, what you're going to want to do is have a simp go download simple port forwarding. I'll probably put a link in the description if I could find it again, but uh, the, you need it. And um, you're going to need to go to the Minecraft site and download the server software. So I'm going to do that. And then you want to open that up, and you're going to want to create your own folder, and I already have one here, so I'm going to open that up. And then you want to go right here, drag all this shit into there. What, you want to what you're going to want to do, close that, is uh, click the exec is executable jar file. Oh, never mind. You start the batch file and it should give you a whole bunch of documents, generating level. Uh, just let that finish. Um, yeah, after that's done, close that. It will give you all this. You're gonna want to fill out this stuff. So for the admin of your world you're gonna want to put your name your uh, account name so you put that there and you save that um, you don't want to have anybody banned yet um, this is gonna be the external URL to your server but we don't need that yet um, the players will come up in here uh, readme's just gives you some some uh, commands that you can do when you're the uh, admin and whatnot. Uh, what you need to do is go find the server properties file. Or actually this is, yeah, this is what you need. To, um, you need to go to the service property file and you need to verify names, true admin slot. I'm going to set that to true. Port, I, I already have mine in here, but what you need is, um, to write in 25565 because that's the Minecraft port. Um, public true server name. I'm going to name it uh, uh, let me see which I name it. Uh, the land of greatness. Max players. I'm just going to set that to 5. Max connections. I'm not sure. I forget. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I just put them at the same. The M O D or the M O T D is the um. The what's it called? Is it gives you a me a welcome message, so you could just put like. Wagwan. Uh, grow trees. I'm gonna put false, and then you exit that out and click, save. Wait. Yes, you click save. And um, what you need to do before you can do any of this is you need to port forward your uh, router. So um, to do this, you want to go to here, the start button, and then type in CMD, which opens up your command prompt. <coughs> and then after, you're going to want to type in uh, IP config and then that gives you all this shenanigans and uh, what you want is the default gateway so 192 for me it's 192.168.0.1 so what you're gonna do you're gonna put 192.168.0.1 yeah and then you'll get led to your whatever this is um, yeah, and then you would, uh, you just kind of got to figure it out from there, but if you go to, if you have the, uh, 
simple port forwarding here. You open this up. No, thank you. I don't want to open that. And then what you do is you just kind of follow this list. So update router list. It's already updated. My router is already in here. My <clears throat> you would select your router from this list of routers. Um, you would put your IP in there. So your IPv4. Wait, yeah, your IPv4 is the address you would put in there. And then, <coughs> and then your username and password for your thing, which um, you should probably change it though. And then what you want to do is um, select your router, yes. Choose which ports you need to forward. You would click this. Add custom name. You'd type in Minecraft. Uh, TCP, depending on the router you have, it will give you some of these options. If you don't have uh, the double one, you're going to have to make two. Um, you're going to have to add two new ports, one with UDP and one with TCP. And then you end start and end ports, you put 25565, and at the end port you would put 25565. And then you would put your IP address again, and then you'd click add. You do that twice, but I already have it here. And then after you would go to um, update router, and it would fill in everything on that one site, like the uh, nine two one nine two. <coughs> it would fill in everything that would supposed to be. See, Minecraft is already there for me. It would fill in all this stuff for you, because that's what you need to port forward it and. Uh, yeah, after that's done port forwarding, uh, everything should be fine and dandy. So, um, yeah, uh, let me see here if this works. You would click uh, start. You want to have this start server open before you uh, run the server, and then you want to go to external URL, copy that, cut. And I'm pretty sure it changes every time. I'm not sure. But let me try this here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just log in. And then do this. And then it should work like this. Uh, come on, are you working? Are you working? Are you, are you working? Holy shit, don't tell me you just froze on me. Wow, okay, so, um, I might do this. I'm not sure. I'm gonna close that. Don't say. Close that. Oh, see, yep, see, connecting. Ah, uh, connecting. Oh, I just closed my classic server command prompt. All right. There we go. Let me just refresh that now. It should work now. Um, how long have we been going on? Oh shit, alright. Um, I don't know why this is being difficult. I think it's probably just because I'm recording, but, um, yeah, it's taking a while to, whatever, it works, it should work for you, um, it's just being slow for me, um, but yeah, sub to this channel, by the way, cough, cough, subliminal message, um, but yeah, until next time, I hope this helped, uh, see you later.